2021 outfits for 2021. Let's go. Throw in a little yellow out here. One of my favorites. Matching two piece sets. The clothes you're doing all the talking. March 11th! Ah, ah, hey, I just changed because basically I forgot to vlog today. I'm simply so sorry. But Megan and I got our nails done. Look at oh, they got little smileys. We went to Starbucks. Today's Starbucks of the day. Brady actually just spilled it. <laughs> I got a venti pink drink with light ice. But Brady like threw a shirt. <laughs> Brady, Brady's here for two minutes and this happens. But I also picked up a package from the mail and I got this outfit from White Box. Mm. And sorry, it's not as satisfying because I already opened it, but I got hoodie. It says World Tour White Box. This crew that goes with the shorts that I'm wearing it says White Box. And this oversized tee that says White Box Angel. But yeah, I like their like tour merch vibe. It's so cute. Mm. But speaking of outfits, today I wanted to do a 21 outfit for 2021 video. I don't know, I've just, I've seen Emma Chamberlain do this video, I saw Nikki do this video, and it just reminded me of old YouTube, and like why I even started YouTube in the first place. Like, I love makeup videos, and I love hair videos, and what's in my bag videos, and like room tours, and those kinds of videos, they just make me so happy and nostalgic, and makes me feel like old YouTube, so. 21 outfits for 2021, let's go! Some of them are like super casual, you could wear day to day, and then some of them are a little bit, ooh, a little bit, ooh, she like Rihanna vibes. That's what I was going for, Rihanna vibes. But yeah, you guys don't care. You just want to see the outfits. If I spend one minute per outfit, it's going to be a 21 minute long video. So I'm going to just speed through this. And I hope that you guys enjoy. I love doing like little concept videos. Guys, if I'm going to be honest, I would have uploaded this video to my main channel. But I genuinely don't know the password. And I tried recovering the password and I can't get it back. Like it won't let me sign back in. Like I'm signing on my phone. But it won't let me sign in my computer. I can upload on my phone. But like that's a situation. So that's why this video is going up on my vlog channel. All right, let's. 21 outfits of 2021. Look number one. I'll tell you where everything's from. Basically, the jacket is from Depop. It's just like a vintage jacket. The snake set biker shorts and top are from a firm, A F R M. And then the boots are from Koyo. <laughs> K O I O. I've been doing this a lot recently. Like, I've done it in a couple of my outfits. I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram story, but I'll get like a really loud two piece set, whether it's like a workout set or a snake set like this, and tone it down with a big oversized jacket. And then if you match the shoes with it, shh. And snake print has been very trendy recently. Yeah, look number one, she gives me very much I live in New York vibes. I'm an editor at a magazine in New York vibes. Look number two, we got the jeans from Gas, jacket is from One Teaspoon, top is from Beginning Boutique, and the shoes are from Naked Wolf. I don't know why, I've just seen everybody, they are all wearing the boot cut, you know, like, I feel like everything just comes back in style. Fashion repeats itself, fashion's recyclable. These flare jeans, I'm all obsessed with, I've been wearing them so much recently. And this little top that looks like a little napkin, I'm like, ooh, she's a little see-through, that's why I had to cover her with my thing. If you're gonna wear it, you probably wanna wear, like, like little pasties or a little like bralette or something like that. I don't freaking know. But the top definitely gives me Rihanna vibes. I love this style. And I've also been obsessed with orange. I feel like orange and has been super in it. Same with dark green, like forest green and brown. Those have been some really good colors recently. Look number two, she gives me very much like wag, 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 Rihanna vibes. Look number three, the corset is from Amazon. Shirt is from Pretty Little Thing and boots are from Public Desire. You can wear it with just the big oversized t-shirt or with the corset. I feel like just the oversized t-shirt is more like cat. Casual. She's very like, I'm going out to business. Like number three, she gives me very much like under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, a eh. that kind of vibes. A thunderstormy night like tonight in LA. She's raining a little bit. She's thunderstorming. Imagine that with an umbrella. Okay, next up we got this yellow set from Glassens. The bucket hat is from. To be honest, I got it in a PR package. I'm not 100% sure where it's from. It's just a regular, regular, regular black bucket hat you get on Amazon. My bag is from Dior. And my shoes are from Prada. Again, I feel like I love crazy too piece sets and you can totally tone them down with the jacket with like neutral accessories black accessories and it makes her a little less crazy i don't know i need to throw in a little yellow out here come on she gives me very much i wish i could overnight a bottle of sunshine over tea <laughs> okay this one is one of my favorite outfits my top is from dior and my pants are from particle fever i don't know what the top just matched the pants perfectly brown again brown has been a super trendy color i've seen everybody wearing brown i always see girls that are always 
wearing the little bandos as tops so you can also tie it in so many different ways so you know this one she has cleavage you could do some without cleavage i don't know look up a little bando tutorial but i love this look i think she has to be one of my favorites if you would have told me that i liked a brown look like 10 years ago i would have been like brown frown ugly poop brown or even yellow i would never wear those colors back then now i feel like they're so trendy and they are actually kind of really flattering like i never i don't know would have pictured myself wearing these outfits when i was like in my childhood but i think brown looks so good and so flattering on tan skin tones next up we got my jacket she's thrifted from depop my dress is from beginning boutique the orange one and boots are from windsor smith again orange and i i try to help all my east coast babes out there i know canada it stopped snowing you know you could go outside with a little jacket or something and i know you're excited you're excited you want to wear all your summer cute little summer clothes so you can totally wear a nice dress with a big oversized blazer jacket i feel like everybody needs a black blazer like a leather jacket in their closet a good leather jacket and a good like denim jacket oversized denim jacket those are my two most used jackets and the boots that go not above the knee like ariana grande like a little bit underneath the knee i've seen all the blogger girls wear that so i don't know i think it could be a cute way to like incorporate your summer clothes in your spring wardrobe where it's like a little bit chilly outside but like you want to be cute and plus a whole never gets cold a plus a hoe from canada girl one time i went out in the clubs this is obviously before the pandemic i went out in the clubs in montreal in a little teeny tiny itty bitty witty itty teeny tiny dress i feel like it was it had to be like january like it was prime snow time and it was freezing but my friends were like i don't know just take like two shots and you'll be good you that way you don't have to do coat check i swear to god i was out in the freezing cold in my little buddy crazy creepy wavy big titties little waist my little itty bitty dress girl hoe never gets cold you just make it work anyways the next outfit i've been wearing this non-stop i don't know if you see on my Instagram my top is from princess Polly jeans are from guests and my shoes are from naked wolf something about this top man like she's like a little corset top she makes her itty bitty teeny tiny itty bitty waist looks tiny she makes the boobies look big like everything about it she, she really just shapes you that's the thing I'm like should I just like work out or just dress better like at this point like the clothes be doing all the talking like she make me look so good <laughs> <laughs> oh my god blue just farted girl you know what you did oh my god <laughs> any fucking ways love this outfit even though it's simple i really do like pop of yellow you know yellow is like spring like the sun's coming out come on yellow my happiest moment when i see the color yellow next look my full like the top and the skirt are both from img again brown brown is a key color for spring and my boots are from rec paris r-e-c-c-p-a-r-i-s and again with the not above the knee but a little underneath the knee boot I feel like are super trendy also when I went to Japan the girls would always do this where they would get like kind of like a tennis skirt and wear a like a hoodie or a crew neck kind of over top of it so I have this like matching two-piece set and I think it's super cute I don't know it's also a cute way to like have your skirts but also be warm like being warm is like spring is all about like layering that's how you be warm but love skirts I was definitely feeling myself in this one next outfit my full set is from nasty gal the top and the bottoms and then the corset is from white fox boutique have you guys been noticing this where like people will go out in outfits and you're like is that your pajamas i don't know <laughs> this one gives me very much like a rich pajamas like i just got out of bed but it was like my hotel pajamas and they're like 200 dollars like i'ma wear this shit out and i'ma show my shit. she gives me very much like going on zoom trying to be professional but like also super comfy vibes next up i have my bodysuit from j lux the label my jacket's from jing j-i-n-g and my shoes are from windsor smith again this is like another way that you can kind of have like a crazy like either like a two-piece set or a bodysuit and kind of tone it down with a neutral colored oversized jacket with neutral shoes it really just tones it down while also being super fun i hate it when like i feel like i almost put myself in a box where i always always want to wear like black or white or nude i'm like like i just want to be fun like i'm only gonna be 23 once like let's wear some fucking color so this is a cool way to wear color but like tone it down with like the jacket and the shoes and the accessories next up i also really like this one because i think it's kind of cute that the yellow in the bag there's kind of like parts of the yellow in the bodysuit and you can kind of see how it kind of ties together so my corset is from afrm affirm my jeans are from glassons g-l-a-s-s-o-n-s -S -S. my bag is from jw pie j-w-p-e-i my shoes are from prada i've also been seeing corsets becoming back in style and i feel like you can find really cute ones at the thrift store too but you kind of have to look at like the intimate section which is like a little bit weird you definitely have to wash that shit before you put it on i mean you should wash everything from the thrift store before you put it on like i totally always do that <laughs> that's so gross but you're supposed to wash it before you donate it okay but yes definitely wash your clothes before you wear them from the thrift store but 
regular schmecky of the day your jeans with like a corset I think is a super cute outfit next up everybody when I posted this on Instagram everyone was telling me about this outfit They're like, oh my god, Adeline your fashion. Woo! I have my one fan page on Instagram. Their name is Adeline Moore in closets I'm obsessed with him. I don't know how he finds all of my outfits, but he just does so he said my outfit was from Amazon But it's actually from a beginning boutique, <laughs> but you can't get it from Amazon too and my boots are from Koyo K-O-I-O. I love matching two-piece sets and you can even throw on the like black oversized jacket if you want to be more comfy but I don't know before this year I would never really wear skirts because I thought that they were so uncomfortable but girl if you just put a black pair of shorts underneath your skirt I will do a cartwheel in a skirt I will do this in a skirt I will sit like legs wide open in a skirt I'll do the splits in a skirt I'll do anything in a skirt and I think I don't know skirts are just like you feel so girly like mm. I'm just a little girl <laughs> in your skirt. And this matching two piece that gives me very much like clueless vibes. Okay, next up, my leather shirt and pants are from Rumors, and my top is from Capitana. C-A-P-I-T-T-A-N-A. -T -T -A -A. When I was talking to Nikki, she said everybody needs a good pair of black leather pants, a black leather jacket, a good pair of jeans, and a good jean jacket. Those are like staple pieces in your wardrobe that you need to have. If you guys want, I've always wanted to do like a capsule wardrobe video. Let me know if you want. I watched Best Dress video, like so many people's videos on capsule wardrobe, and like how you can kind of can style key pieces for different outfits that way you're spending less money on more use out of them more use out of your outfits but i love these leather pants i feel so like badass i feel like a badass when i wear them and they're not like sticky at all like you know when you see leather pants you think that they're gonna be sticky they're not next up my top is from shein and my skirt is from pretty little thing and my shoes are from naked wolf animal print i feel like has been super big like the zebra print i've seen like kendall jenner wear it for like halloween everybody knows that halloween look that she wore and it's like kind of crazy and loud with the pattern but super neutral tone again with the brown people love love brown and it's like it's cool to kind of mix and match different nude tones and textures I feel like it kind of like weirdly it's like a weird outfit but it like weirdly makes sense I don't know monochromatic fits I'm obsessed with and I just thought that this was like a cool way of showing like monochromatic mixing different textures different patterns you know getting fun with it next one this sheet gives me very much painter vibes I feel like a, little, a cute little painter in this one my flannel is from ASOS my set is from nasty gal like the red set my hat is just a regular regular digger black bucket hat and my shoes are from nasty gal Dude, layering, I feel like layering really does make your outfits. Same with accessories. I didn't go too ham on accessories in this video because I normally just wear the same ones every day. And I really just wanted to focus on the outfits, but like layering, like having a long sleeve and then also tucking in the flannel so you could kind of see the long sleeve through the flannel. I don't know. I kind of like this outfit. Next up, I don't know why, and you can completely disagree with me when I say this, but this one gives me very much Emma Chamberlain vibes. I don't know why. I don't know why. My top is from... Let me check. Okay, I found it. Yellow top is from Beginning Boutique. My pants are from 12 Storez. S-T-O-R-E-E-Z. I don't know. I just, I wear jeans every day and I felt like these pants I literally wore in like middle school. It was definitely my uniform. Like I remember even buttoning that shit like that like it was all the same and i think with the little lacy bra underneath the kind of peeping out i don't know i think it's kind of cute okay it's a 21 albums video i had to throw in a big hoodie as an outfit yeah. i wear this sh all the time to be honest when i'm not wearing all these outfits i'm wearing either like a workout set or a big oversized hoodie and this is exactly it this hoodie is from duskline and the shoes are from windsor smith but that's just like my favorite easy go-to if you don't know what to wear in the morning and you're just kind of lazy you want to throw something on super easy but also super cute just wear an extra large hoodie be all right now grind it up in this you know what i'm saying cooking in the kitchen and i'm in the bedroom i put on an oversized hoodie for you or for zoom <laughs> I don't know super comfy you could literally be naked underneath you could wear a workout set underneath you could wear underwear and bra underneath whatever this next one i'm so proud of this outfit this blazer is from jing j-i-n-g the top is from j-lux label and my jeans are from guess or wait no 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 these jeans are from urban outfitters i'm pretty sure yeah these are from urban outfitters having super casual like jeans and top literally jeans and a crop top that could have been such a basic outfit with like little doc martin looking shoes but putting the blazer on top of it just makes it look so much more professional and fashionista and even just having like the little Little lace underneath the crop. I don't know. I really like this outfit. I would wear her to dinner, wear her to meetings, Zoom meetings, whatever. And I also just really love the pop of yellow. I don't know. I feel like a thing that I've been doing a lot recently is like a pop of color that you're wearing is like your top or your bottom, and then kind of covering it up with a big oversized jacket so it kind of tones it down. Okay, next one. She's so funky. My pants are from BDG. I'm pretty sure it's just from Urban. I got it off of Depop. My top is from Olab Label. O L A B L A B E L, and my boots are from Koyo. K O I O. And you. 
you could totally just like I feel like the zebra pants like speak enough in themselves You could totally just wear like a plain white crop top plain black crop top like the zebra pants Speak she speak English Spanish and French do that zebra talk zebra pants talk. I don't know I love these pants. The only thing is I'm pretty sure I ordered them like a size smaller So they're so uncomfortable. That's why I barely wear them if not I would be wearing them all the time. But yeah zebra pants very much Kylie Jenner Halloween costume. She's just super fun. I don't know like you know a is gonna be spicy when she has zebra pants. You know she's gonna be fun. You think she's gonna be boring at a party? No, she's not. You want that to be your friend. She's a little weird. She's a little spicy. Okay, next. This one's from my ABGs, my little Asian Betty girls. I don't know why she gives me these vibes, but my dress is from Pretty Little Thing. I love the little see-through. It gives me very much IMG vibes. And I just wore like a black bra, black underwear with it. My shoes are from Naked Wolf. You could also put like a little black blazer on to kind of like cover up a little bit. But I love see-through. Even just like cute little like tank tops like this. Like I love it when they're like a little bit see-through. You're like, oh. You see that my shirt? I, I didn't notice. Oh. I love sheer see-through and this dress was like exactly that. And then also the brown, like the nude we love. Okay, and then my last outfit, I actually wore this for my Brady and Andre and I's photo shoot where we did like the 24 hours in a Tesla video. But my corset is from White Fox Boutique. My skirt is from Jaded London and my blazer is from Depop the thrift store. And my shoes are just Naked Wolf. But again, black leather, I feel like it looks so cute. So expensive. And also for the theme, we wanted to do like black and white. So that's why I did this is the last outfit. Oh my god, that was 21! But yeah, that's pretty much all of the outfits that I could come up with. I tried to do some more casual that you could actually wear out, like super casual, whatever. And then some are kind of spicy, some are a little more trendy. You know, you got a little mix of both. And I feel like with these 21 outfits for 2021 videos, you don't want to be boring and like wear like all the same things. Like when I watched the Emma Chamberlain and the Nikki one, like I just love experimenting with clothes and like, you know, what one person might think is an ugly outfit, one other person might think is cool like you know your style is your style like, just express yourself the way that you want to express yourself and if the way that you like to express yourself is like super calm and collected super neutral tones super conservative or whether it's like super colorful you know fucking slutty revealing crazy over the top patterns mix and matching everything you know whatever you want your style is you and nobody could tell you how to dress other than you I mean unless it's like your school then like send that they could tell you how to dress which is sucks and like they need to fix that because the whole school clothing system clothing regulations they're all bullshit like why do girls get called out and then boys don't like i would always get in trouble when my office at school but you know it's just finding out who you are i love finding pieces that like i'm like this is me this is me i feel so me in this i feel like i'm expressing myself and like you can see who i am on the inside on the outside but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video this video took so long to film so please make sure to give a like comment your favorite outfit down below if you want any like more throwback videos like this like honestly this genuinely made me so happy to make i love throwback videos like i'm gonna do a what's in my bag one day like i swear to god those are some of my favorite videos room tours some of my favorite videos makeup collection oh my god what do you want a candle collection like i'll do anything today's merch had actually you know today's shout out of the day period goes to adeline more in closets on instagram dude i'm sure that he's gonna post every single outfit that i'm about to post on this video and he just posts everything every single outfit that i've ever Ever worn is here and he like does my outfit like what I'm wearing how much it costs like I follow so many fashion pages like Doja Cat closet of Doja Cat closet of Meg Thee Stallion Ariana Grande Madison Beer everyone I literally follow them all and I love just finding like small little Instagram boutiques or even like little deep pop stores like small businesses that you can't like find anybody else like nobody else can find it like you know that other people will not have the same outfit as you but yeah merch shout out of the day I guess goes to him and then today's tip of the day goes to a fraction of a lifetime on Instagram. Their tip of the day says your value doesn't decrease based on someone else's inability to see your worth. And I thought that this tip of the day was so good for today because I feel like like in high school, I remember wanting to wear all these cool outfits, wanting to wear like having all these cool outfits, having all these colorful crazy things and like just not wearing them out because I'm embarrassed and I like don't want people to judge me. But like, honestly, that like life is too short to be wearing all these boring ass jeans and t-shirt clothes jeans and t-shirt is fun and safe and like whatever but like if you want to wear that funky zebra pattern top or pants then fucking do it you know go all euphoria jewels from euphoria on this bitch. like life is too short to play it safe if you have that fun outfit that you've always wanted to wear then fucking do it wear it to the coffee shop get people used to it be like this is just how i dress this is just me and i swear to you you're gonna start attracting all of the people that love fashion as much as you do that love the th same things that you do fashion is so fun and i love I don't know. Just playing around with it. I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. Same place, same time. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Not blue sleeping this entire video. Oh, baby. <laughs>
<laughs> she says bye. Oh, good morning. Good night. Mm -hmm.